Hi there everyone uh, and welcome back uh, and today we're going to have a look at possibly one of the more frustrating um, PS4 uh, videos that we're going to look at today. Um, and it's frustrating because to be honest um, it all stems from uh, one of the easiest repairs we can probably do uh, and that is actually a rework of the uh, PS4 HDMI port. Um, uh, more specifically uh, the site on the, the actual PS4 motherboard where that HDMI port sits. Um, as we all know, one of the sort of Achilles heels, one of the weakest uh, points of the PlayStation 4 console to date is the actual HDMI port itself. Uh, owing to its design, you know, the pins um, can be pushed out of the little header inside the port, you know, and they can be mashed up and, you know, the comb can snap and the pins can come out and splay back inside the machine and ultimately all you end up with is a console with a white light and no picture or you get snow and artifacts all over your picture and things like that. So one of them are, you know, occasionally you plug the lead in and it's really wobbly and loose and horrible. So one of the more common repairs uh, to a PlayStation 4 is, of course, to replace the HDMI port. And it's not a particularly difficult um, thing to accomplish, even for somebody, you know, fairly novice. It's, it's a relatively easy thing to do if you've got the tools to do the job. Um, but, of course, one of the more... Um, frustrating things of course if you are an novice and you're relatively new to this it is quite easy um, to destroy uh, the portion of the actual motherboard itself where this port mounts into uh, you know and what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how to repair the site um, where that ps4 hdmi port sits um, so what you might do for example um, is you get a hair a hot air wand and you warm up around the the HDMI port and you get the the pins nice and hot uh, and solder starts to liquefy uh, and you go to lift the, the old port out and a couple of the pads aren't quite hot enough and you lift it and you end up pulling away the little pad that the legs uh, are soldered onto away from the board so now you've got a nice little black hole there uh, and nothing to solder uh, the legs of your new HDMI port to on a couple of places uh, and you've plugged it all back in and you get a nice white light and a black screen on your TV and no picture or no sound, for example. So how can you repair that? What, what can you do? You know, are, are you stuffed? Well, the good news is, no, you're not. Um, and what I'm going to do is, um, is I've... This, this video is inspired, actually, from, from a comment um, on one of my other videos, the CE3588-2. Um, repair video which I'll pop a link in the um, in the annotations for you um, just there if you want to watch it uh, which is quite an interesting case study on uh, the replacement of, of an APU chip uh, between consoles um, it is misery is that particular you know is that particular repair but it is quite an interesting little case study into that sort of area uh, of PS4 repair so by all means you know feel free to have a click through and, and give it a watch um, but yeah th this this video is inspired um, by a comment uh, posed by question uh, on on that on that video, and basically, what from what I can gather is the guy who who asked who asked the question was considering uh, doing the APU Syscon NOR swap uh, between a couple of motherboards because uh, he'd ruined the HDMI um, portion of the of the of the motherboard. I think he'd lifted a couple of pads of a couple of traces uh, on the board, and now sort of wanted to replace his circuit board. Um, you know, by swapping, you know, his known good components from his current board uh, across to a to a to a replacement board. You know, with a where all the traces and, and you know that portion of the motherboard were completely intact. Um, and basically, you know, obviously, it's that particular repair of his misery, and, and and this particular guy hadn't done any sort of prior experience uh, to reballing anything like that. So you know, it is easier. To repair the HDMI header, a uh, portion of the of the board, than it is to go swapping and reballing chips. So um, I had a quick look around Google and YouTube and things like that to see if I could find a similar video where somebody showed you the various points that if you lift this pad uh, on on the HDMI uh, connector, then you can solder a wire to this particular point here, and then solder the other end of that wire to that leg on your HDMI port. Um, you know, to to basically reinstate that connection that you've that you've ruined, that you've lost, uh, and have a working machine again. And to be honest, I'm sure there probably is one out there. 
um, but I couldn't find it. And in order to sort of po possibly help that guy out um, and help the rest of you um, and myself for prosperity in case, you know, I do sort of end up with one off eBay with a knackered port um, that somebody's maybe ruined the board on. Um, or you're doing this for, you know, as, as a living and you can't be asked digging your multimeter out and, and finding it the necessary point yourself and, you know, getting a good board with an own, you know, good port on it to measure everything out. Uh, perhaps you don't have one laying around, you know, and, and this is your machine. Um, so you don't have the ability to test that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, coming up in a sec, uh, I've taken uh, a couple of photos of the board. Uh, and we're going to go through pins 1 through to pins 19. Uh, and I'm going to show you um, the different points uh, on the motherboard that you can solder to uh, with a link wire um, between these particular components and the relevant pin on your HDMI port to reinstate any connections that you might have ruined um, on the bottom of your board to get your HDMI ports up and working again. Um, so what we'll do is we'll overlay those photos in. So basically what I've done is uh, we're going to go through pins 1 all the way through to pins 19. Um, I've basically marked the areas of the board that you can solder to, the available points uh, in red. Um, so all you need to do is go to the pin uh, that you're missing or that's been ruined or the trace to that pin's been ruined or, you know, whatever damage you've done. Find the pin that you no longer have a connection to uh, and then just choose one of the uh, only only one um of the little areas that are, are labelled in red to solder that pin to. Uh, in cases where there are more than one uh, alternative place to solder to, I have marked them all, but as I say, you only need to go to one of them. Don't link it to them all, it's, you're wasting your time. Um, so, without further ado, we'll just put those points in now. Um, so hopefully this will help you out. Uh, if it does, then like I said, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, or like this video uh, and that'll help me out as well so if this helps just one of you guys out then it's been worth it for me uh, any questions as i say feel free to pop them below uh, and i'll do my best to answer them for you so uh, best of luck guys and uh, we'll see you on the next vid